sample size calculation based on the typical consumer risk typical consumer risk beta is uh, 0.1 or 10 percent now lq is the limiting quality or the maximum amount the customer or the consumer um, willing to accept the maximum number of defectives imagine that that number is six percent now based on that if we want to calculate the sample size let's say c values let's say c value one for c value one for the uh, point 0.1 um, probability or consumer uh, the PA value probability of acceptance or NP value is given 3.89 so we can calculate N1 is equal to 3.89 divided by the LQ which is 6% that is 0 0.06 if we calculate this we get 63 now for if we set C equals 2 or let's say 3 I have some pre-calculated values that I want to use so that NP value is uh, for C equals 3. We're going to follow that 6.681 divided by 0 0.06, which will be equal to 111. If we set C value 7, then N, yes, this is N3, let's say N7. Um, so that uh, for C value 7, the value for... Uh, that uh, probability or NP value is 11.771 divided by 0 0.06. If you do this calculation, it's going to be 196. So for uh, the um, typical consumer risk, if we calculate this with four different C values, then the N we get is a different value. So for C equal to 3, the n is calculated 1 on 1 so c equal to 7 n was calculated 196 so consumer really doesn't care which sampling plan is used because the consumer risk is same i plotted that in a graph so as you can see here the consumer risk is kind of fixed at uh, six percent or that l this is the value of lq limiting quality or rejectable quality rq which is given uh, 6% now this value is associated with that 0.1% acceptance of uh, the um, consumer uh, beta value so if you draw a line horizontal line parallel to x-axis wherever that cars that's the C so consumer uh, risk is set at so these three different plans that I have created C value 1 sample size 65 if I use C value 3 sample size 111 C 7 use sample size 196 in either of these cases the consumer does not really care which one do you use because they're gonna get the exact same risk by any of these plants uh, therefore it's kind of difficult to decide which one to use which one is not in the next video i will show you how to consider both consumer and producer risk to calculate the sample size